Aloha and mahalo for joining me. I'm Janet and welcome to the Call to Create podcast. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are. And I am so grateful that you took the time out today to listen to this, to my podcast. I think it's awesome. I think you're awesome. And today my topic is about wanting more. So I want to ask you the question and I want you to seriously think about it. Are you wanting more, more, more and more because you think it's going to get you what you want? Is that really what you want? Do you want to be doing more? That's a lot of questions in an opening, but think about it. I really want you to think about this and this popped into my mind because I try to talk about the things that I've experienced and gone through and I want to share like the experiences that happen for a reason because you know when you share stories some people can identify with it and you know you can really get to see about things that you go through and things that other people go through and you realize like we're really similar especially women we go through a lot of the same things. And so I want you to think about that right now. Do you want more? Do you want to be doing more? Or is it really that you're just running from how you really feel about yourself? I want to talk about the feelings because feelings are one of those things that it's really a sensitive subject. It's emotional. It can, you know, depending on what feeling you're talking about, it could take you up and make you feel good or it can take you down and make you feel really awful or you can experience or you can experience feeling bad or any one of those things so it's not bad to want more for yourself and your life but what happens when it gets out of control and you aren't reaching the more you know the more in quotes that you've been working so hard for and so much for I'm not sure if you've ever found yourself in that position where you just, things get out of control and you don't realize it until you start feeling it. Like you start feeling sick or you start feeling so fatigued or, you know, something's happening in your family and, you know, maybe you are grouchy or you, you know, you're not enjoying your life so that it affects everyone that you're around. But I say that because that's from experience, but take a look, take a good look at what you've been doing and see what's behind all the doing. So think about it. Are you doing more than you have energy for, or are you just trying to figure out how to survive? And I want to share a story of my own personal story. You know, I have four adult kids, but when they were little, I used to volunteer a lot. I used to do a lot, you know, in their school and they played sports. And I don't know if you've ever done that, you know, volunteered for your kids um, schooling or events, you know, like the PTA and their classroom and lunchtime, you know, when they're on the playground for recess, they need volunteers. And it was just a constant thing that I was just constantly volunteering. Now, I started off volunteering because my mom did that for me. And that is so valuable to me that I remember, like, I felt important, like, she cared enough for me that she volunteered in a lot of things. And I wanted to do that for my kids. I really wanted them to have that experience of their mom being there and helping out and volunteering, you know, because it makes you feel like your mom loves you. And so that's all fine and good. But then when you keep on volunteering like I did, and, you know, it's one thing to volunteer because you want to be a good mom or a good parent. But then when you keep volunteering because, you know, some people... There are other parents who don't volunteer or they nobody says anything or sometimes a parent wants to volunteer but they say, oh, but I can only, I mean, which is good because I felt like at this, because I understand now that they respected their boundaries. They knew they were busy 
and they could only volunteer a certain amount of time or certain days and all that. Well, I didn't understand that kind of stuff way back when. You know, I just thought, okay, I'll just volunteer as much as I can. I want to be part of my kid's life. But then also I worked, I worked part-time and full-time um, off and on throughout the years. And I also had my own sewing business. So I was doing a lot, right? I have a husband, I've got four kids, I have a job, I have my own sewing business, I have myself to take care of and the house and who knows whatever else I had to do back then. But if you think about it, I had a lot on my plate as do a lot of moms. We just have so much going on. And at first, you know, you don't really realize it. Like I didn't realize that I was just going to keep doing and volunteering. And then after a while, it was so exhausting. And I kept thinking, okay, if I just, you know, keep on. And then my sewing business, I thought, okay, if I keep sewing for people and if I keep teaching sewing and if I just constantly do more, 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 I'll get to where I want to go. And you know what's interesting is that back then, I don't even think I really knew where I wanted to go. All I knew was that I had to raise these kids and I had to, and I wanted to make my own money, you know, have my own business. I just love, I love that freedom and that part of life where you can have your own business because you really learn and grow in such a different way when you have your own business. But I had really no direction, you know, like I say all the time, like we didn't have coaching back then. We didn't have people to help you and say, hey, let me um, help you or this program will help you and guide you to go in that direction. You know, what are your goals kind of thing. And I just kept doing, doing, doing. And you know what I realized after a while, I don't know how many years later, is that I was just tired all day, all night long. I was so tired and I'm pretty sure I got close to burnout. And I thought that this is what I needed to do. And you know what? I think I was grouchy a lot too. And I took it out on my kids and, you know, probably a little bit on my husband. But it was really a really hard time because I just kept doing, doing, doing because I thought that I just wanted to be a good mom. I wanted more. I wanted this and I wanted that when I really didn't have any guidance or direction or goals really. And so I just thought like, okay, something has to happen because I can't keep doing this. And so as time went on, as my kids got a little bit older, I stopped volunteering so much. And you know, it was really hard because I found it really enjoyable to be involved in their activities and sports and all that kind of stuff. But then once I started cutting back and just, you know, saying, hey, I can't, I can't do that. I don't have enough time. You know, there's really not enough time in the day to do all the things I just mentioned with my kids, me, my husband and the house and, you know, cooking, cleaning. I don't even think I really clean very often either, but I just found like I wasn't enjoying life and it was just really, really hard. And raising kids in general is really hard. But what I want to share with you is that what I've discovered over time is that when you come to know who you are at the very core of your being and who God created you to be, then you will become unstoppable and you won't have that need to just keep doing, doing, doing in any crazy direction. You'll actually be able to figure out what God has planned for you. And I know this because, you know, it's been about half of my adult life that I've, I've been on this journey to find out who God created me to be and what he wants me to do while I'm here on earth. And once I really started understanding and praying and turning to him and reading my scriptures and doing all that kind of stuff, I really discovered what he wants for me and what I'm here to do. And I've honed in even more 
on the gifts that he gave me that I can use in my life to bless me, my life, and other people. And that's why he gives us gifts. I um, have podcast episodes about that. But think about all of these things. What is it that God wants you to do? Are you doing, doing, doing in any crazy direction? Find out from God what he wants you to do because that way, that's the only way that you'll have peace is when you come to know what you have to do here on earth and why you're here. You know, we're all here to gain a body and to have experiences and to, and to grow and learn. And we have to have trials in order to grow and learn. So think about it. Think about what you're doing. Are you just exhausting yourself? And I really think that this is so important for you to take the time out to do because I've come to know what really matters and what's just a waste of time or what I do and don't have energy for. But time is one of those things that you can't get back. You just cannot get wasted time back. So think about the things where you know, you feel like maybe after all, it is just a waste of time. And sometimes things that you do aren't a waste of time as much as it is a learning experience, or let me put it this way. There are a lot of things that we do in life where it's a great learning experience, but sometimes you think it could be a waste of time. But all I have to say is don't waste time. If you're just doing, doing, doing without any rhyme or reason, or you're just at the point of exhaustion, just don't do it. Take a step back. Remember, I always say, get out your fancy notebook and write all these things out. Just make a list of all the things that you're doing and see if there's any value in it. What have you learned from it? Is it really going to help you in your life now? Is it going to serve you and others? in a good way and time is moving quickly and so we need to get to the important things we don't have time to waste on unnecessary things but of course you know it's all perspective what i think is important may not be important to someone else and vice versa so just take a really good look think about what you're experiencing if if it's just that you are running away from certain emotions you know, you want to keep busy because you are you don't like the way that you're feeling about something. Um, you know, people have pain and things that they go through, emotional pain, mental pain. So think about it today and, and find out what's going on deep down inside. And if you want me to help you, let's work together. I'm here to help you with personal coaching. We'll dive deep into your challenges, your struggles, and your goals. And send me an email. Send it to aloha at janinjohnston.com and let's get started. I'm here to support you because you have a life worth living. And when you have support and guidance, it makes things so much easier and makes it more enjoyable. So do this for yourself today because you have worth and value. And please share this podcast with anyone who you know would get great value out of listening to it, especially if you know that they're thinking about starting their own business. Or even if they're not, there's still great value that I share in each episode that can bring value to women even if they aren't interested in starting their own business. And please rate and review this podcast. I would appreciate it. And thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. Aloha.